Congratulations, Miss Dillmount. It takes the average applicant seven seconds to walk from Flannery's perch to my way station. I clocked you at 6.4. That swell, just swell. The early bird and all that. Beautiful. How's that? Your trophy. I love baseball. Golf. I want it for golf. <laughs> May I see your references? I don't have any, but I'm a hard worker and a bachelor. You don't? How about previous employers? I don't have any of those either. You don't? I like that! You do? <laughs> Absolutely, Miss Dillmount. Isn't this the land of opportunity where the right combination of aptitude and enthusiasm can take a girl from nowhere straight to the top? So let's do this the American way. Bolt the door, take off your things, let's have a taste. Excuse me? <laughs> take a letter. Hey, Mr. John Hudson, Hudson Floor Wax. You'll find an invoice for the file with the address. Dear Mr. Hudson, Cole, my eyes are fully open to my awful situation. So I'm writing you a letter to demand an explanation. When the flow wax that we bought from you arrived here Monday morning, we discovered upon usage that the fume should have a warning. Since the only possibility is that your wax is rancid, I request a full refund of all the money we advanced. <laughs> and unless you can convince me you've improved the flow wax better, we will take our business elsewhere. So I hope you solve this matter. How's my speed, Miss Delmount? A little slow, perhaps. Ah. Enclosed you'll find a small container of the stuff I talk about. Just carefully remove the lid and take a whiff if you've a doubt. I'm sure you wouldn't want me to alert the daily papers with the news of how our office was affected by your vapors, which is why I choose to write to you a confidential letter full of strong recommendation that you make your flow acts better. I just hope it won't require us to have our floor laid. And if it does, you may expect a bill. Sincerely, Trevor Graydon. Read that back to me, please. Certainly. Dear Mr. Hudson, colon, my eyes are fully open to my awful situation. So I'm writing you a letter to demand an explanation. When the floor acts that we bought from you arrived here Monday morning, we discovered upon usage that the fume should have a warning. It's the only possibility is that your wax is rancid. I request a full refund of all the money we won't see. Nice. <laughs> and unless you can convince me you've improved the floor acts better, we will take our business elsewhere. So I hope you solve this matter. Not half bad. Please continue. In close, you'll find a small container of the stuff I talked about. Just carefully remove the lid and take a whiff if you've a doubt. I'm sure you wouldn't want me to alert the daily papers with the news of how our office was affected by your vapors. Which is why I'm just writing you a confidential letter full of strong recommendation that you make your floor acts better. I just hope it won't require us to have a floor laid. And if it does, you may expect Bill sincerely, Trevor Graydon. Miss Dillhunt, may I speak frank? Yes. If I should be so lucky as to have a good stenographer to keep this place as up to date with her short skirt and bobbed coiffure, I wouldn't have to worry about this soured office blanking and could concentrate on generating profits right for banking. Which is why I'm testing you with this outrageous correspondence which I don't intend to actually mail to the respondents. <laughs> so, if you can make sense of my unintelligible patter, then the job is yours. Hudson Florex really doesn't matter. Hudson Florex 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 doesn't matter. I want that letter on my desk in two minutes flat. Man your machine. Go!
careful when you take off your hat. Sure, you want me to order the paper in the news hat office? What the fuck am I, baby? Why use the right to you a company to a lot of old strong accommodation? Now you make it for it's better. Hope all the buyers to have a more late, and if he doesn't make it, the bills and silly trip agree. You have made the team this bill now. How much I'll be paid nice to meet you I know we'll be friends